Good morning, friends. Aloha, friends. Who's down? Hubby. What you doing, hubby? Punisher again. Hubby has been on a binge watch of Netflix. Punisher finally uploaded my video. Yo, Danica's having muffins. There's hubby. <laughs> but um, I just uploaded now, Saturday morning. Oh, there's a cobweb. I know. Uh, I just woke up. I need coffee before I can think. It's so dark, I can, like in the screen, I can only see your face. Oh, really? Oh, oh okay. Hey, Java. Good morning. So, yesterday was day one. Welcome to day two. So, I'm going to do a bit better today than yesterday. So, I got a plan. I got a plan. That's what it looks like. Jonathan Hubby chopped down my plants. But uh, I want to go to the gym. I got to have coffee first. And I think yesterday's like I really felt icky. Not because I was getting sick, but because of coffee. So I had to do a new routine with my coffee. And yesterday was the first day. I put just a... Go ahead, babe. We can't hear. Um, we had to put... I had to put coconut milk. Here's Danica. Chocolate muffin. I love you so much. Really? I love you the most. I love you the most. No, I love you so much. I love you so much. So much more, I love you so much more. I love you this big. I love you. I love you too much, too much, too much. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot too much. I love you too much, too much, too much. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Yep. Yep, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mommy, go to the gym? You want to go to the gym this morning? No. Why not? Mm -hmm. You have a gym membership at the daycare. No, no, yet. Why? I need to go home. You need to go home? <laughs> Would no. you want to stay home? Mm -hmm. Okay. No cry, you promise? Pinky promise. Big girl. Love you. I go to the gym with daddy, okay? Kiss, kiss. And um, I grilled yesterday, which was really good. So then I have food meal prep to do for me. I'm not going to worry about the family. Take care of themselves. So I'm constantly taking care of them. So now I gotta make sure I have a meal prep so that if I do to go, um, if I do decide to go somewhere, we're actually gonna go to. We were supposed to go to Portland today. <laughs> um, hubby and I are celebrating our anniversary. I knew it was our anniversary coming up. I just didn't know how many years. But uh, but we were going to go to Portland and I just didn't feel like it because I think like yesterday was the first day and I said it was the coffee. Coffee does a lot to your mind withdrawals when you take it away. And so today I'm just going to do the same thing but um, maybe just a pump and then the pump of the sweetener because I don't have the, I don't have the, the stevia or a better sweetener. Okay. Take that, take, it heats up really fast, and then I got my lemon, I'm just going to squeeze it rather than cut it, um, yesterday was actually a bit too sour, and then I had to, just a little bit of water, and that's it, oh, I hear the popos, alright, so in reference, so I don't need to measure it next time. It's almost half of this little sake um, shot glass that I have. I got my warm water and I squeeze a little bit of lemon. Right, the window so bright. But squeeze my lemon in here. Oh, just right. Not too hot. So, what are we gonna do today, friends? Um, I know I wanna go to the gym and do um, work and find, because I usually do classes at the gym, but I do wanna do, um, and then I like to go to the sauna. But this time I wanna look for a machine, because hubby's gonna go with me, I don't like to go to the machine. 
I'm very intimidated with the guys in there like because they're all like all the guys are like in one section I don't like the layout of um, of my gym mm. we have a pool but I don't know how to swim um, I can dog paddle so I'll do that and I want him to show me the machine that does the abs because that's the this is the main reason that I want to do this weight loss challenge or cautious living challenge is because one like I can really feel in my gut like my gut's about to explode so I'm bloated and but it's just like it just I feel like there's so much junk in my system like I I, I feel so clogged up like a pipe you know you gotta put a Drano in there, hot water, and clog it up. That's why I drink the, the hot water now with, um, with lemon. Is that's, your system is like a clog. So you, if you drink hot water, it'll do your system some good. It's actually hot. Not too hot, hot, but hot. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take my shot. Um, Hubby likes to mix it in with his water, like hot water or regular water I don't like to do that I like to suffer like that I just like to chug it down which I did yesterday and then and then drink the rest of my water so I'll do that oh my gosh uh, uh, a shot of that apple cider vinegar oh. it's just the worst thing but I'm kind of used to it because I'm Filipino and we do a lot um, like we use vinegar as our sauce in so many things like my mom just made me papaya salad and then she puts vinegar in there not so much sugar um with the, like the other versions of papaya salad we call it achara and so she she puts vinegar in there when i eat crabs i dip it in vinegar and garlic um when i eat fish um i like to have vinegar so i like to have vinegar as my side dish all the time so that's why i think with this i can tolerate it just a little bit more than normal people or or like hubby um like other families have have tried it as well because like right now it's it's done like the first the first few seconds like oh and then i chug it down with the rest of my water that helps but if i really think about it i kind of want to throw it out but okay danielle's trying to figure out what you hey danielle why don't you have the same breakfast as me well I can, i'll have that one but i can't eat that cause it has oh yeah you're allergic to nuts okay yeah. so I'm going to have, um, I'm just going to let this water and um, apple cider vinegar die down a bit. So, but within 30 minutes, then you can, you can eat. I'm going to have a third of a cup of the Quaker oats with almond milk. I mix uh, water with almond milk because I like my oatmeal like runny. I'll put like maybe a tablespoon because I like cinnamon. And then yesterday I used the crunchy peanut butter with flax seed and chia seed. Today I'm going to do the Trader Joe's mixed nut butter, dry roasted and salted almond, cashews, walnuts, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, pecan nuts. This is like nut butter, which is mixed nut butter. But can't wait to try this out. Um, I do have my... Trader Joe's and Costco haul that I need to edit today and upload today. Yesterday I had such a problem uploading. I started uploading at 10 o'clock at night and it did not upload until just now when I woke up. Okay, so I'm going to prep this. Right. I have to put a towel in here because I, I like to overcook my, my oatmeal like three minutes. So anyways, I just opened up the mixed nut butter and then I tasted the, the lid. It's hard to take out the, the lid, but... This is very creamy, very nutty, but not sweet. Um, see the difference between this one and the flaxseed yesterday? The other one was a lot more thicker. This one's more creamier. So I'm just going to put a tablespoon. And I'm just going to try to see how... <laughs> try not to make a mess. Put that in there. And then along with cinnamon. And then no sugar, no sweeteners. But I do like to... put a lot of cinnamon I don't measure but I put less than a third of a cup because I was looking for my quarter cup but that's it then I got my almond milk coffee my breakfast while I get ready to go to the gym so I'll probably be at the gym in about maybe 45 minutes to an hour which is perfect the food would have settled down a little bit and then I'm going to do the kitchen. 
Danielle is going to do a run with me today. So she's going to be my running partner because I told her she needs to run. She likes to run. She used to do what? Cross, cross country? country and cross country. But now because of cheer, cheer doesn't allow her to be able to be um, that flexible with her schedule at school. So, and the plus she has Tahitian and Hula. Um, so she can just run with me because I do need to run. I want to run every day, but I do want to go to the gym whenever I can. So, day two, friends. All right, friends. Hubby is on a date with me to go to the gym and then errands. So I got to get my steps in. And the app that I'm liking on my Apple Watch is the, gosh, I think Steps Ahead. It's what it's called. I can do a video later on of what, like the apps that I'm using for my challenge. Um, steps app. And Hubby's like, I gotta see, I gotta see. Okay. So it's a sunny day today. I just whew, wanted to show you guys that Pacific Northwest, it can have like a blizzard day one day sunny the next day or actually that same day because it was pretty sunny when we left um, ikea right yesterday oh uh yeah yeah, yeah so see how the sun is out and it's uh, absolutely beautiful here so there's the is it the puget sound mm -hmm. yeah so the the puget sound is is across the street from where we live it's just um that's why we get like strong winds huh so hubby was saying our light in the backyard flipped over and around because of the strong wind so we are going to the gym for about an hour an hour and a half go to home depot because i need to get more boards for my big signs i've been making big signs rather than small signs and and then um and then what oh cabinet for that one hole that i showed you guys trying to figure out what to put in there and then um dollar tree because java needs a bath today and what else babe mm -hmm. oh danica was telling us yesterday that she had a a toys r us gift card and we're like no she goes yeah i got a gift card i got a gift card well turns out i found her gift card in my gym bag <laughs> she did have a toys r us gift card so if you guys have a toys r us gift card they are closing the store so you gotta use your gift cards at a s amount of time which is like now um we got an email about that so yeah beautiful beautiful sunny day i told hubby take two i told hubby i go he goes where are we going first i said we're going to the gym i go show me a machine that gets rid of my tummy and he said <laughs> how do you always make that expression with me he thinks I'm weird <laughs> he just shakes his head it's better than making the sounds like <sighs> <laughs> but oh, that's basically on. what it means he's just doing it in a nicer manner mm. <laughs> all right yeah but yeah I want to work on a tummy machine and then like a jog and then later on today, um, Danielle and I are gonna go for a little jog. <gasps> you gonna go with us, babe, or no? No. He's not my jogging buddy, so I had to find another <laughs> jogging buddy. <laughs> All right, we are done from the gym. We actually stayed there for like an hour and 50 minutes. So we both went to do the sauna at the end and then hubby got time to shower. I did shower, but uh, <laughs> so. Oh, so, by the way, I used the deodorant. How you use my deal? I always have to have a deal right in the thing. Okay, so with where we live, it's predominantly Asian. Like that's true, right? Yeah, predominantly yeah. Asian. We have a. That's why we have a lot of varieties as far as like going out to eat of good Thai, um, Thai place, Vietnamese place, Japanese, um, Korean, Korean. Yeah. So over here is predominantly Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese um rare filipinos but we do have filipinos more like down south seattle up north where we live because of the naval bases and then across the water where hubby is from then that's predominant of um, filipino asians so okay the reason that i brought this up is because when i go to the sauna so hubby's like oh yeah i showered that's why it took him a little longer than me is because i can't shower over here i just can't but um when I go to the sauna, 
<laughs> There's nothing like these 50, 60, 70, I would say 70 year old Asian women walking around butt naked. Oh, that's in the girls' shower? Yes. Because that's in the guy's shower. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I thought it was just happening in the girls' shower. No, even in the sauna, they would come in into the sauna, like with a towel, but yet, like, towel would be like all over the place. And I, I need glasses. Like, I need one of those, maybe like a night, what do you call that? The one that Jonathan uses? The, the night mask? Oh, a night mask. <laughs> when I go into the sauna. Just wanted to share that. But... That's the confidence I need to be able to walk around in my 70s butt booty naked. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go um, do some errands before we head home and then hubby and I decided that we're gonna go down to Seattle tonight and um, check out some uh, adventurous uh, ramen, ramen, ramen place. All right, hubby and I are at Business Costco. We got a new um, camera, uh, security camera for the house addition but this is business costco <laughs> this is half of the like the warehouse is all these drinks and then over there is a lot of meat oh i should show you the produce area let me take you there business costco you have more options as far as your drink so this is like the the sobe that you can put into your vending machine and then um like this 6.99 i don't buy this but danielle likes iced tea so for 6.99 and then there's 24 of them that's not a bad deal um, I prefer like the Snapple and then Jonathan does use it for going to class so this is the produce it's more bigger at a business Costco and then you got like aisles and aisles of cheese <laughs> but um, cheese so these are all cheese these are the like if you want luncheon meat um, like a like for a party or to pack for the kids lunch then you got that and then they have more options as far as like um, hard-boiled eggs but um, this one meat so these are like their luncheon meats cheese more cheese more cheese more cheese like see you don't see these over at the regular Costco queso fresco crumbling cheese Oh, this is a good cheese, cranberry cinnamon. Yep. Cheese, cheese. Then these are like sausage, different sausage, ham. Oh, I like to use this for um, like the biscuits and gravy recipe, but it's the all natural regular. Oh, for $8.89, so it's a huge one. But I can also use that for chili, mix it with ground beef or ground turkey. Oh, what is this, bacon? Oh, what is, what? Bacon ends? What is that? Bacon ends in pieces. Oh, Jonathan loves his bacon. All right, regular Costco, you will not see this. New Zealand lamb carcass. Price is $3.55 per pound. Oh my goodness. That is a scary sight. All right, I'm gonna have to do a, a video with you guys of what's in my purse. I know that was requested because I need to start changing out my purse. But, all right. <laughs> we went to two Costco's. We went to the business Costco and I showed you guys, I was telling hubby that there was a lamb carcass like hanging as if you were in the, the meat butcher shop where they actually take the live animals and then, oh yeah, it was not a pretty sight. But anyways, and then we ended up going to the other Costco. Before that, we ended up going to the mall. Uh, Victoria's Secrets is having their special 10 for 35 um, undies. So I got um, half mine and half Danielle's. And then over at Costco, look how big the bag is, $5. I should have grabbed two. These are coconut clusters uh, with organic super seeds of pumpkin seeds, sunflower, and chia. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's, um, you can really taste the sweetness of the toasted coconut, so that's, that's what makes it sweet. And then the pumpkin, sunflower, and chia seeds is like a good combination, so I really like this a lot. If I'm gonna go back to Costco, which I think we will because we need to get the shelf, I wanna grab another one just to have before the sale ends because I think it's normally $7.99 and it's on sale for $5. And then hubby at the business Costco, 
So not so business Costco doesn't offer everything they have to, through the regular Costco's, and so they have these um, 40 pack uh, chips, and they're they're the Hawaiian kettle style potato chips brand. So we got these because we like these kind of um, these brand of potato chips. So hubby, what did you think of hula peño? Hula peño was very good. <laughs> yeah, he did like it. Hubby likes anything with jalapenos. He likes spicy things, even though sometimes he's allergic to them. It makes his head sweat. <laughs> it does. He'll sometimes say, feel my head. I'm like, ew, it's wet. But that did actually taste pretty good. I had a couple chips. Maybe two. I'd say three or four chips. And it's not like scalding your mouth hot. It was like, it was a nice, subtle, like little spicy tang to it in a way. Oh. Yeah. We do like this brand, so we recommend these kind of potato chips. Okay, we're gonna go home. We bought a lot of stuff from Costco. He bought a new hat. He is sporting, he's not sporting it now, but he bought a black Mariners um, baseball cap. We're gonna go home, have the kids unload for us, and then finish up my laundry, and then I wanna start doing my pantry, so my kitchen is going to be a mess. Day two. 400 feet. The destination is on your right. I told Hubby. I, I could have been filming. Okay, so this is where we're going to go. We are in Ballard. Oh, you can park here. Okay. Just going to back it up. Can we do a little walk on the main road? Uh, yeah. Show our friends. Sorry. Hubby's going to park. <gasps> and there I am. Took, um, we folded and we also watch uh, down, downsizing. So we're gonna go inside and have ramen. We are in Ballard. Uh, Ballard, yes. Ballard. <laughs> All right, we are so full from our ramen. That's a good ramen place. So out yes. of all the ramens we've gone so far, I like that one the best. But we are on a venture to find the best, best ramen over here in Seattle. Mm -hmm. So we love ramen. Oh, right. good. it's cold. Ooh. Well, it did have a blizzard yesterday. So we're gonna end it. Mahalo friends, thank you.